I went to a Michael Rubin party. It's fun. It is fun. Everybody in white. Yeah, it Every- sounds like a great party. Oh, for it is. I went itself. one time, and I, I've, I've had, I've had my experience. Wow. Okay. I'm good. Really? There was nothing there for what? So like some Diddy type. Diddy white parties weren't the Diddy. The, I'm afraid to even. I, I we ain't talking about no white party. You're said, afraid to acknowledge you've been to the Diddy parties. No, I've been. No, I'm not afraid to be. I've been to the Diddy white parties. I've been to Diddy's birthday parties. Uh, I wasn't at Diddy after dark. I yeah, was at people the act party. like I'm crazy when I say, yeah, I would, I would have gone to the Diddy party. <laughs> Diddy. Because, number one, up until a couple months ago, it did not have this reputation that there was Every, all this no, no. seedy stuff happening. No, 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 right? no, no, no. Everybody. It always had the reputation. Really? Diddy? That's a fact. What? Really? You don't notice how. I mean, I just have never heard that. And your homosexuality radar is much more sensitive than most people. What do you mean homosexuality? You're like radar? really concerned who's with making about? sure that you're not accidentally pulling up on a gay woman. Yeah, who's talking he's, about he's homosexual? Trying to, he, he's trying to mix in. I'm not the talking about that did he have homosexuality, right? right? Zestiness, whatever you want to no, call it. No, no, no. It's just the party, right? It gets to a certain time at his parties where if you showed up there at eleven o'clock, by three o'clock, you're probably not remembering. How you showed up at eleven o'clock? When you go to a big on. fancy celebrity party, Dang. to the limited uh, extent that I've done this, I would assume the freak offs are taking place in you know the master bedroom in a in a different nook of this, like the part where all everybody else you is. No master the last bedroom. Last time I thought. saw you was at French's house. I know, and I assume there were some freak offs taking place, but it was it was out of the the line of sight of the average person see, at the party. I, but see, when I when you go to Diddy's party, I, well, let me say this: maybe there's different access. I've I've I'm when I'm I'm in the backyard. I don't go in the house. Right. Wait. What have you always heard me say? Uh, what? We don't leave the backyard. Yeah, I say in the backyard. We don't go in the house. But up until a couple months ago, if Diddy had come up to me and said, hey, we got to go in back, I'm going to show you something. Well, I I've been, said, let's go, Puff, yeah. But and then all, what if it had showed you something? In all fairness, in all fairness, let me say <laughs> this. i have to take a look. In all fairness. Oh, wow. All, all fairness. <laughs> not, not if there's any, like, unwilling no, participants no, 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 or anything, no. but, you know, no, no. if he in said, all, hey, wait, check this out, wait, I'm going to say, oh. In all, fair, nah, in all fairness, crazy, I have crazy. been in the house when, during the, when the parties have been happening, like, not in the back rooms or like that. And I've not seen anything crazy. Right. I, I've actually, I actually, I can't find it on my Snapchat, but I do have a video where, Cassie and everybody just dancing, having a great time. I don't know what was going on in that house. First of all, in Diddy's defense, I've never seen or heard of anybody being manipulated or forced to do. If you pulled I've up, never heard that you pulled up right. for your reasons. Now, I had a friend who told me right. years ago, like three years ago, we were literally in, uh, having dinner in, in New York. And he goes, hey, man, because he, he used to be a Sean John model. I'm like, yo, so you... You know, we were talking about modeling the model industry, and, and we used to do this thing where we would get together. He's straight, I'm gay. We would get together with a small group of us, and we would just eat and just be and just gossip. Mm. It really is what it was. And he said, "Man, I've seen the craziest in this game, bro." He goes, "One time, I was chilling, uh, and I got a call that Puff wanted me to come over. This is all allegedly. He says three years ago, wanted me to come over, pull up. I pulled up, and." Yo, he wanted me to like play with Cassie's pussy and this, that, this, oh, this, 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 and he would sit there and film it. And he was playing with himself, and I, and in my mind, you know what I said? You're a clout chasing, lying, manipulative. Oh my wow. God, I can't trust. I but now it's not hanging out. out with him. Believe all victims. No, I literally, no, not all, but. But was he a victim? No, no, he was consenting. So she doesn't say this point. Yeah, but, somebody, if Puff calls me, I want you to this hot chick. But okay. this, is, this is all allegedly. But at the time when he said it, I really thought he was just. Crazy wow. being a clout chaser. I, and That's I, his and, thing. And then, and then full circle, I had to go. I had to call him. I had to. I went wow. back to New York for someone. I pulled up on him and I said, I'm sorry. Mm. Because what he said, Listen, can up. I ask you a question? This is real. Because that's the exact I know, Adam, thing. This is real. I mean, actually, both of y'all, I think y'all, like, everybody has their thing, whatever it is. If Diddy's thing is to get willing participants to f- his girl or whoever it may be. I ain't gonna lie. Didn't 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 Kanye didn't wasn't it something like Kanye like that too? Kanye like his girls to be whatever. Wouldn't it remember them text messages or something? Comment down below. Be while he watches. That's his thing. And it's not you right. can have your personal opinion about it. It, there's other people out there that that's their thing. You have your thing, right? You do porn. That's your thing, right? So I don't look at Diddy like, I don't say he's a weirdo. 
right? Well, it's I, all the other stuff that makes no, him a weirdo, yeah, right? I will if say... If he's making her do it, that's different, bro. The overly abusive shit. Yeah, the abusive mm-hmm. stuff, yeah. That, if it, I, I don't got nothing to say about whatever the fuck he was doing with willing participants. I don't even know who it, as long as they're of age and, and willing. they're willing, willing. Yeah. I don't care, uh, right? That's his thing. And not being like force-fed hard drugs exactly. at the yeah. party, no, yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. Because some people come in and say, True. where's the drugs? Right. We're going to get lit and we're going to kick this off, right? But when it comes to the right? When it comes to the that yeah. that I saw was kind of yeah. crazy. And I think the fact that the, the one thing where I think he lost me was, because at first I was very much saying like, yo, I have never seen it because I just haven't. And I'm not saying that I don't believe victims because I do my, I might have had sisters who've been a victim wow. or survivor of domestic violence, right? But let's keep it real. Everybody out here saying something happened to him has not had something happen to him. Right. I think right That's now, real. especially like the minute somebody sees a gate open or a window or open, check. man, that dog piling starts happening. And the new, this is the new game. Mm. I'm going to find an attorney who's willing to work with me to do this. I'm going to find a journalist who's going to write the story. I'm going to file everything I want to say in a lawsuit. And mm. then I'm going to, once it's filed, we all pull it up and then we all put it out. Whether it's true or not, you can't sue the victim, the person, because they didn't say it. The the TMZ put it out. The No Jumper put it out. The Hollywood Unlocked put it out. You got, but they have free press. They have a responsibility to provide an insight on what's happening. So that's the new bag. You can't get the person who filed the complaint. Now they want a million dollars. You pay them. They settle and release statements, and it's all confidential. They got mm-hmm. the bag. The attorney got the bag. You got. And we all ate it and kept pushing it on social media. This is just crazy. Mm. And I didn't know it was happening until it happened to Tiffany Haddish. That's when I said, yo, wow. I got on with that reporter. I got on with that uh, lawyer. I filmed my conversations with him. I put a whack. And then I put that out. Wait, okay. What, Hell what, yeah, what was this about? Oh, in terms of the old comedy videos yes. that she did with Ari Spears, yes. right. Okay. Now, you've been on the internet for years. You've been on the internet uh-huh. for years. You don't remember Funny or Die? Oh, I do. The craziest, dumbest, reckless that them folks had put up. We live in a world now where everybody's sensitive. It was a distasteful, stupid video that she even tried to stop. Mm -hmm. But it came out, and even though she was helping the family as friends or whatever behind the scenes, because she wouldn't do more for them, Mm -hmm. they said, like, yo, look, why are you putting these people in a comedy special and not me? Like, if you don't help me, then I'm... I got to go get the bag. She, she told me this before he even came Her out. Her and Ari Spears did some comedy videos for this, this site back in the day, just for people who are wondering. And oh, yeah. at least in a couple of them, the theme it like of it was stuff. like child sexual. They were making dropping, jokes associated with it. She kid that. off to the babysitter, and the babysitter was uh, taking advantage of the Probably not a skit that almost anybody would attempt at this point in time, but at that oh. time, it was genu- genuinely thought to be funny, I think, on the internet. Well, but they, didn't they not put it out at the time? Or did they? And then no, it got deleted he, he later went on. No, to put it out. And when she saw the final cut, she said, no, nah, I didn't see that. No, nah, we're not putting that out. So they stopped it from, she got on to stop it. But then it came back out. But if you read the lawsuit or, or the articles that were posted about the lawsuit, you would have thought that Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish were abusing children together. Exactly, because social media has no guardrails. And mm. then on top of it, the crazy part is the mother of the kid was dropping the kid off to set, to do the scenes. And wow. then on top of it, Tiffany's whole thing, and everybody that knows Tiffany, and I, and I hope she don't get mad that I'm bringing this up, and it, it's probably the most disappointing thing I've seen happen in the industry because I know her heart. She's a beautiful human being. She loves everybody, and she really is. She survived a lot of things. She tried to protect the story from spreading because of the kid because mm-hmm. now we see the kid. Now we find the kid. You know, the Internet, once you say something, now people want to dig up who's the kid. She was thinking about the kid's mental health, you know, um, and so... When I put the video out catching this attorney and the Rolling Stone person who's the same one writing about Diddy, same one writing about T.I., same one writing about uh, Nicki Minaj's husband. Mm-hmm. It's the same person. When you start seeing it, same, same group, same attorney and a journalist. When you start seeing it, you're like, hold on. So when I saw it, I, I recorded it and I put it out. And I went on hard on his ass because I felt like he had used me to go after Nicki's husband. And I felt like I had gotten pulled into it. Mm. Once I saw what it was, I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. So the first attorney and the first thing to come out was this story and that attorney. So mm. at first I was like, yo, I don't know what this pub is about because every time I've been around, I ain't seen the weird shit. I've seen Beyonce over there. I've seen Jay over there. I've seen yeah, Nas over it's there. Not seen- like, it's not like, bro, his whole party is that. <clears throat> people that want to participate. His white party was at Prince's house. This yeah. is how, like, deep to go. People that want to participate, participate. If bro. the parties were that crazy, like if there was really 
fucked up happening in front of everybody, then we all would have known about this 10 years ago. Man, it's your boy Kevo, bro. That's crazy. I do remember the Tiffany Haddish thing. Um, you know, yeah, yeah I don't want to... <laughs> You hear me? I do remember that, and I did thought that was wild and crazy, but that's cool. That's good that she tried to protect them, you feel me? But, hey, man, I don't even think she should have even did that. I ain't going to lie. That's crazy. Simple. The Diddy parties, I don't know, man. I don't know. We ain't never been to none, but it's a little crazy. Simple. It just, I don't know. I just, I'm pretty sure he got regular parties, but like like, like uh, Jason said, they probably got some after dark parties as well. Simple. Uh, it's your boy Kevin, man. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel about it, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.